Ora Internet, I'm here with Little Little Witch who's about to become Granny Witch. Yes. <laughs> and we have a little project today. We are going to make the baby quilt for the upcoming arrival. So what's the plan? My original plan was to turn my wedding dress into a quilt. Okay, yeah. But the other grandmother's got in the act and I've got her wedding dress as well. So we've got two wedding we've dresses. Got two wedding dresses. So we've got the other grandmother's wedding dress. Okay, which... Yeah, which is my daughter-in-law's yeah. mother. Which and is looking a bit yellowed and this is going to be fun fabric to work with because this is stretchy and very nylon feeling. But we cannot leave it out. It has no, to be right, the both wedding. We'll make sure this goes yeah, in. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise we might have a clash of the grannies. Okay, we right. cannot have, we can do this. Yes, we okay. cannot have clash of the grannies. And then we've got another wedding we've dress. We've got another wedding so this dress. This is your wedding this dress. This is my wedding dress. Okay, so we've got well, the lace. We obviously won't be able to use that with the baby, but... I have started taking it apart a bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this we've got this white fabric. This is also a... Is it, an, is it linen? I think it's a type of linen, but don't okay. quote me on it. Right. Look, it's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> and this is going to be a lot easier to work with than this one. But we'll make it work. So we've got two, I've got a sort of creamy, I'm sure it was white at one stage, but it's aged to a cream, and we've got an actual white. We might need another fabric to go with these two. I think that's probably a good idea. To blend these together. So I am under orders, though, not too bright. Not too bright. Not too bright. So I can't make my usual rainbow quilt. Okay. I don't think they'd go down very well. Right. No. Okay, so something subtle and pastely. I think what would be My good son and daughter are a little bit conservative. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we need to do now is go off and we'll do a bit of planning and sketching and come up with a plan and then we'll go and try and find some fabric to go with it. That sounds like a very good idea. Okay, cool. Let's get started. an idea uh, but it's gonna need a third fabric and I don't have anything suitable in my stash so time to hit the fabric shop there's so many tempting fabrics but we need to stop looking at all these fun bright fabrics and try and find something a little bit more subdued right so we found this nice blue fabric even though it's a girl and you're know, not supposed to do blue for girls but it's such a cute fabric and it works really well it, I think it's gonna work against the yellowed sort of creamy colour of this dress and the white of this dress and it's going to bring them together quite nicely. So we're going to use that for some highlight patches and also for the binding. And then for the backing we've got this nice creamy yellow which again goes really well with all the fabrics and is a nice flannelette so it'll be nice and soft for the baby. And then most important we have a lot of interfacing because this is going to need to be lined because it's such a stretch fabric. So I think we've got everything we need. Now we just need to start cutting and making this into some usable fabric. fabric. I don't need to worry about the grain of the fabric because <laughs> there's no meaningful grain. Yeah. Your one I was being pretty careful about how I was cutting it to try and keep it on the grain.
of time to get the binding finished that same day and then life got busy so it's a few weeks later now but it is finished. I'm really pleased with how it's looking. I think considering the difficulty of working with those fabrics and that it's not really in my usual tonal range shall we say. <laughs> it's got rainbows on it. I think it came out really really good. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. So hopefully Littleton Witch will also be really pleased with it. I think she's going to come over later today to pick it up and double hopefully her son will love it. So yeah I think we did what he said in no bright colours. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Ka kite anō internet. Mm -hmm.